Hey everybody, uh, boy oh boy, I sat on this one for a while, huh? Uh, yeah, Kirby Star Allies, um, guys this game has been out for a while and I've wanted to play it so badly and it's been so hard to avoid spoilers because all my other friends have been playing this and streaming this and whatnot. Um, let's get this butter building off. Guys, do you think butter building's gonna be in this game? Oh shit. Yeah, let's get right into it. I'm excited. Also, I'm playing with the single Joy-Con because I'm a fucking masochist. Oh, look at this little loading icon in the corner. I love it already. Game of the year. Game of the year. <gasps> oh, this is... Whoa! Look at this. <laughs> Oh, this art style is so good. What the fuck? Oh, f <laughs> I love this. I didn't know this was here. Look at him fucking go! This is a good opening. I love this game already. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, look at this. Look at how round he is. God damn. Oh yeah, I was thinking he was gonna come back. What a good boy. Guys, I fucking love Kirby. Ooh. Thanks, I think. Rick and Kine and Koo from Kirby's Dreamland 2 are here. What a trio. Marks from Kirby Superstar has popped in. A final boss here to help? Unbelievable. Gooey from Kirby's Dreamland 3 has hopped over for a visit. <laughs> that oddball. More dream friends. There are now six dream friends. Use. I, I don't know, I, I count. I count five. <laughs> Use them as allies. Find them at the Dream Palace. You can call on Dream Friends at the Dream Palace in Story Mode. Make your dream team. A new celebration picture has been added. Yeah, so they've been updating this a little bit since uh, it came out, so I guess that's the DLC stuff. Also, let me know, let me know how the audio is, because this game sounds a little loud on my end. Also, Star Slam Heroes, Chop Champs, Wild. Uh, I guess let's just get right into the story mode. Maybe I look at the settings? Oh, this, this this UI? I'm like such a fucking slut for good UI design. Like, holy shit. This is nice. Okay, settings. Yeah, seems alright to me. Control options. Type A, type B. Oh, I see. Wait, hold on. Didn't Arlo, like, complain a ton about having to jump with A instead of B? Just... Okay. Sure. Zero out of ten. Um... Wow, this is a good UI. Oh, I didn't see what that play together thing was. Ooh. Oh, shit. Pre-rendered. Oh, what's going on here? Oh no, not love! Modern, modern Kirby cinematics sit in like a really weird... Uh... Or maybe not, actually? Oh, you know what? Okay, yeah, never mind. They sit in a weird un- like... Oh, jeez. <laughs> They sit in this really weird uncanny valley where it like looks really good, but it's animated really weirdly. Sometimes it looks okay like that, but that little movement when the Waddle Dee was serving King Dedede with the tray? Don't know about that. This looks fucking good though. This could that could not have been animated better. He's perfect. I love him. Shit, go get him, Kirby. 
World of Peace, Dreamland. Guys, I fucking love this UI. <laughs> oh, it's like 3D World. Oh, this is nice. Full analog control. I like it, I like it. This is cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go to World 1 then. Or level 1, rather. <laughs> He's so cute. What a good boy. Wow, this game looks great. I already played the demo, but I, I forgot how good this game looks. Also, yes, another reminder that I'm playing with a single Joy-Con. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fucking pro with this now. I kind of, I kind of wanted to make friends with the swordsman, but all right. I'm very used to the to, to, to more traditional uh, Kirby controls, where it's like pretty much just like a a tiny amount of moves um, for each little power up. But in like the more recent Kirby games, yeah, okay, let's be friend. In the more recent Kirby games, they've made it so that it's like you there's like a ton of like combos and shit and all sorts of different moves Kirby can use for each power. I gotta I got that, that that's like something I gotta learn, but. For the most part, even in like, uh, Triple Deluxe and Planet Robot, I pretty much like stuck to one or two moves, because <laughs> I can't handle anything more complex, apparently. Oh, hey, it's actually got the game after all. Yeah, um, I've been like selling uh, a few of my things, and uh, I'm like, hey, I can afford a Kirby. Um, might also stream Nintendo Labo later on down the line. Also, just make friends with this. Look at this, this is great. Um, and I was gonna get it physically, actually, but they were all sold out, so I bit the bullet and got it digitally. Even though, you know, as much as I prefer physical copies. Yeah, so let me know how the audio is, if, uh, I don't know how it is on your end, but on my end, if the game might be a little too loud, so let me know, uh, if the audio mixing is fine on your guys' end. Oh, look at this. This fucking paper mache. Oh, you can do a fucking down smash. Physical or bust? Honestly! I try to go physical when I can get the chance, at least when it comes to, like, uh, triple A stuff. I'm fine with getting digital on indie games, but I don't know. I feel like I've set in, like, a pretty good standard for me, and it feels wrong to break that standard. So I guess Kirby is an indie game now. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, I should definitely like put some time to actually learning all these different moves that Kirby has, because it looks like there's a lot you can do. Make a friend, tilt the control stick up. Sure. Oh, it's like Yoshi's- Okay, you actually control the arc. Okay. Sure. I'm on mobile, so I might not be a good judge, but audio sounds good to me. Okay, good to know. Oh yeah, and then I can get a fire sword. Nice. The sizzle sword. Guys, I'm already having like a lot of fun with this game. Sucks that I took so long to get to it, but I'm really enjoying it already. I fucking like Kirby, guys. Bombs? Yeah, also, uh, no Paper Mario tonight. Um, I was thinking the Mario Kart streams would maybe be something a little more infrequent, but I don't know. The The other Mario Kart stream that I did, that I did was a lot of fun, so I don't know. I just want to come back to it and see if that might be a good thing that people might enjoy a little more regularly. I don't know. That's good. What am I, what I'm especially excited to see with this game is, like, the lore implications. Cause like, I've heard a lot about that. <laughs> My friend Max, uh, Funky Billiards, actually made like this this video about how Star Allies actually changes the Kirby lore. And as much as I like his videos that are like that, I haven't been able to watch it because I don't want to spoil myself. For the 
Kirby story spoilers. Spoiler, he goes back to sleep. Oh, I probably should have made that boy my friend. Mr. Frosty! Oh, don't you spank! Oof! Man, HG Mr. Frosty is like... Like, it doesn't look bad, this looks great, but it's just like weird to see considering... You know, a, a Kirby game has never quite looked this good. Also, I'm ice now. Also, I'm skating now! I'm beautiful. Graceful, even. Oh, look at that. Just in time. Lore is super lore friendly in this one. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so how many of these big boys are there in each stage? Uh, I think the mini ones are just like a part of a random puzzle that you fill in, and then the big ones are. Is it so? Is it like Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot, where there's three in each level, or? Cause that's the first one I've seen. Man, this game really likes fucking <laughs> pushing the object draw limit. Oh, look at that. Well, I hope there th that there's only one, cause if not, I just missed two. Oh shit. Not bad. I love this fucking dance, I love that fucking tune. I love this fucking Kirby boy. Yeah, let's see what we're filling in right now. I guess you can't really get much of- oh, well, okay. I see maybe a Kirby face? I like this world map a lot. This is cool. I hope there's like all sorts of like secrets and more stuff. Well, there was like some collectibles and stuff that you could pick up if you went like off the beaten path, but I hope they do more stuff with that because that sounds like a fun idea. wish that they did end up doing I probably should have befriended that. I'm on a fucking rampage. Um, it's still MIDI! I kind of wish they went with like a live orchestrated one with this, because every time Kirby does work with a live orchestra, it fucking slaps! I should- I'm just destroying everybody! I need- Uh, Dribbly. But Dribbly is a friend! Hmm. Who should we replace? I guess... Poppy Bros? The world maps are super cool on this game. Uh, this is just the beginning. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I guess I can take this back now, huh? I like these little sliding thingies. Oh, I didn't even know what I just hit there, but... It looks big. <laughs> Ooh. Who's been burning logs? Okay, what is this? Oh, well, I guess... Dribbly here just killed it for me, but... Yeah, what are these things? Oh, they're like, I guess they hold fire shields? Okay, it kind of took me a moment to figure out what these things, like, were. <laughs> Hamburger! Oh, interesting. 
I read through that tip at like the last second. <laughs> Ooh, rock! No, 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 no. Oh, well, no more rock. I keep fucking killing things too early. Rocky! That's good. And then if I do this, can I make the curling? I want to make a curling stone. Yeah! Look at him go! <laughs> Holy shit! Well, I kind of want to... But Okay, there's a way to drop. Okay, yeah. If I give that ability to someone else... Oh, but I don't know if I can let anyone else turn into a different thing. Okay, no curling stone for me then. Yeah, can you take care of this? Thanks. How come he gets to be the Kirby statue? That doesn't make much sense to me. I don't know if I trust like that. It means I can still slide. That's the important thing. I like that partners, like, take notice of switches and items and stuff like that. That's good. He's fake Kern. Hmm. Oh, this is funky. Well, I'm not. Yeah, okay. I can, okay, so you can still make this work even if you're not the, the thing. Okay, cool. Oh, look at all this. Me. Not the one true puff. I kind of like that little bass riff. Slide, boy, slide! Oh, I gotta do a curling stone thing, right? Okay, so you hold up and then... Neat! Okay, so from what I'm gathering so far, it seems like it's pretty easy to get those friend abilities going. I was thinking maybe that was gonna be kind of confusing or tedious maybe, but... It seems like those worries are being put to rest pretty quickly. Hmm. Would a curling stone work in this situation? Yeah, I'm really hoping there's only one puzzle piece per level, because I'm only finding one per level. Oh, hello, welcome back. Whoa, what was that? Oh wait, it's not dead, let me befriend it, let me befriend it. Uh... Oh, no, I can't aim it high enough. Come on. Oh, shit, wait. What is this? Festival? What? <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Me. I didn't know that was a thing. That's cool. Oh, whoa. What is this? The Dream Palace. You push the big switch that opens the Dream Palace on the world map. Cool, I think. Yeah, it's you know your Kirby. What's the Dream Palace do? Lighting in this game is great. Let's see. Ooh! <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I think that definitely is a Kirby that's coming together in that first puzzle.
Dream Palace gives you the actual name friends. I, st I'm, I still don't know if I know what that means. Let me take a look. Honey Hill? That's a big fucking ball. Of boils. Okay, you might meet legendary characters. The Dream Palace is now unlocked. Grab the Dream Rod to summon special friends. Oh shit. Oh, this place is nice. Okay, it's gonna tell me what this stuff does. This is the Dream Palace. You can meet a Dream character here if you use the Dream Rod. When you Dream Grab the Dream Rod, the Dream Roulette will Dream Start. Press Dream Right button to Dream Call Dream Friends. Oh, just like all three of them? Uh, I guess I'll get rid of, uh, Sir Kibble? I don't understand, why were there three of them? Also, this fucking Hamtaro bitch. Oh, he's getting sleepy! <gasps> Never mind, he's great. Oh, whoa! No, no! I just pressed ZL and Rocky fucking died! I didn't mean to, I'm sorry! I'm using split Joy-Con, or um, sideways Joy-Con, it's accidental. Honey Hill. So how do you swap between the three of them then? So right now I've got Hamtaro, but how do I get like, more? Gim. Oh shit, who is that? Also on a fucking Mario block? Yeah, I really didn't want rock power in this level, but I guess this is just the way things are now. Yeah, let me be fucking fire Kirby. And then I can mix, uh, fucking, uh, fire and hamster and make fire hamster. It's per moves, so they kind of just come and go based on what moves are being used? Okay. So fire sizzle yo-yo, and then I. So will he know? Oh, okay, cool. Let's get. Can I? Uh oh. Well, that's not quite what I meant to do. There we go. Okay. Okay, cool. Like down B is always. Uh, kind. Okay. Is it kind or keen? I kinda don't know. I'm very keen on finding out. That's good. Oh, what is this now? This music is great, though. Still wish they orchestrated it, but, you know. It's interesting that, like, if you kind of look backwards at stuff like, um, Melee or Kirby's Air Ride, um, Kirby was, like, one of the few, if only Nintendo series, to, like, use orchestrated music like that, and now, you know, Zelda's fully orchestrated, Mario's fully orchestrated, and all of it's performed live, and then now, now Kirby's the fucking MIDI. Oh dear. Look at these guys go. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh shit. Howdy, partner! With Wester. Cool. Oof! Oh, 
Oh, I got a smooch. Oh, these balls are getting, like, bigger, aren't they? <laughs> oh, that's a lot of waddle. <laughs> oh, God. Out of the way! Oh, that guy just fucking... That's tragic. So if I want to, like, start learning more about, like, the different, uh, moves with each, like, power that Kirby has... Oh, I gotta use the yo-yo. Get over here. No, come down here. There we go, thank you. Do your thing. So, yeah, so if I want to, like, learn more about the moves that I'm able to do, where would I go to do that? It's, like, on the... where would it be? kind of thinking that it was gonna be like a whole thing where I have to like keep up with the ball and like prevent prevent it from being destroyed but no I guess all of those boys are just gone extra stage open you push to the big switch that opens an extra stage in the world map yeah that's interesting right because uh, level progression in um, triple deluxe and planet Robobot were dictated by how many of the three in each level collectibles there were and by the way nobody has told me yet how many puzzle pieces I'm supposed to be finding in each level, because I've only been finding the one big thing. Oof! Me. Yes, because that's like a mini puzzle piece, but where are like the where's like the big ones? Also, excuse me? Whoa shit. I don't know what that just did, but that was cool. Oh well but, but what's this way? Oh I see. Yeah, I was hoping that was coming back. I thought he like sabotaged the whole thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, speaking of... Yeah, like... Wait a second, there's two... There's two exits? Interesting. So... Do the alternate exits do anything, or are they just there for convenience? Also, hi, Rice! Oh, I, li <laughs> I like the hamsters dance. Oh, this is coming together. Oh, oh look at that smile. Wait a second, and feed it to your teammate. Aren't they supposed to be kissing, though? I thought they extra eclair. He feeds it to them? Their new levels. Oh, so that's what this is, then? But I- no, I pressed a button to activate this. And- and then this is just what the exit got me. So if I got the bottom exit, what would that have done instead? Uh, I guess I'll do extra eclair. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh shit. Man, you know what? Uh, probably just Lester. Man, the quality of these minis sure has gone down real quick. By pressing and holding Y or pressing ZL. Yeah, I found that one up the hard way. Oh, wait, but what about the bottom path? Oh, no! Oh, I think I did the right thing, okay. I thought this was gonna be, like, another one of those things where they gotta, like, split up. Um... Oh, you can't really see what each path holds until... until it's too late. Well, this path doesn't have, like, a mean boy in it, so... Yeah, look at that! Okay, cool. Yeah, I was about to say, if more fire doesn't break these, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> hmm. Well, there's not any mean boys to judge what's going on here this time. Maybe the middle path? Let's make sure that the top path doesn't have anything on it. Okay, no, I think we should take the middle path. Uh-oh. Oh, it was the lower path. Alright. So do all of these uh, extra levels have, like, throwback Kirby music in it, then? Or is it, is it just gonna be green greens every single time? Kirby hands. Remember Kirby? Oh, was I supposed to find a key? Can I go back for a key? Uh oh. Yeah, hold on. Is there something up here? Look at this. Oh, I'm already holding one, dumbass. <laughs> Thanks, bird hamster. Oh, I was expecting a bunch of collectibles to drop down, but I guess that's what this room is for. Ooh! What is this? This fucking slaps? What is this? I like this song! Also, I'm sorry, Max, for saying song instead of peace. Please don't hurt me. This seems very end of level -y. Whoa, excuse me? Oh man, everyone's not doing too good on health, actually. Oh god. It's Bonkers Kong! Ugh. 
Oh shit! I just fucking slap him. It's the only way. Oh, they can still get their power. Oh, it's like a boss rush? Whoa, shit, look at this. Who's this Kirby's Canvas Curse looking ass? Oh shit, I can. Ooh. It's a good thing I decided to take this one with me then. Oh. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. Really, too? I don't know, that seems pretty on point to me. I love this fucking dance! So is there any way to influence what puzzles the puzzle pieces go towards to, or, or is it just like a random... Uh, assortment? So what does the gold heart mean? Does that just mean it's like been completed and that's it? Or is that like a hundred percent thing? Golly, I can't possibly imagine what's gonna be in this level. Yo, the particle effects of this power look really cool. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, I dropped the power! I pressed the L again! No! Oh, I gotta get it back, I gotta get it back. Oh, I gotta be really careful with ZL. That's something I've got to check if it's possible to remap. The gold card, I'm not sure, but the puzzle pieces are random for the most part. Okay. Thank you, Circular Squared, and also welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen you uh, in chat before. Oh wait, so if I hold up... What? Still life! <laughs> oh shit, look at that! Nice! Oh, and that, I guess? Wind fire yo-yo? Okay, just wind yo-yo, it swaps out the power. Interesting. Uh... Well, I was going to make friends with Poppy Bro, but I guess my other friends <laughs> disagreed with that. So I've only been, like, paying half attention this whole time. How are you liking this game so far? Um, a lot. Uh, I shared some of my thoughts about this already in the Kirby Star Allies demo stream, but that was from a while ago, so... What's this do? Reset. Oh! <gasps> no! <laughs> Come back! But I didn't want it! No! But I... Yeah, I want to be an artist, and then... Can I... Right, I can... Okay, so I can bring... Okay. I was worried that I just fucking, like, sacrificed them forever. Uh, yeah, so I already shared my thoughts about this a little bit. Uh, oh, I can jump and then throw these. Interesting. Not successfully, though. Oh my god, please. Okay. Um, I like how it controls a lot better than uh, Planet Robobot and Trouble Deluxe. Um, I'll explain this again. But in those games, uh, when you just press right, you would like start walking carefully, and then you'd have to, like, double tap the analog stick, or rather the circle pad, 
to actually start running, and I just want to be running all the time. So in Star Allies, you can just flick right, and then you, you'll start running. You can still walk slowly if you just don't push it as hard, but... Especially with the, with the circle pad, uh, double flicking that is not like a physically pleasant thing to do, so it's like... You, you know, you like, you're like fiddling with it, and it's just not like a, a fun thing to do. Uh, and the Joy-Con analog sticks, you know, uh, are they're really clicky, if that makes any sense. Like, they have a... I think the short travel distance, I feel like that's a bit of a complaint sometimes. And that might be a reason people prefer the Pro Controller. But when it comes to controlling 2D games, I think that actually becomes a benefit. Because it's so easy to uh, go all the way to the right immediately. Oh shit, I just dropped my power. Uh oh. Oh shit! Whoa! Rainbow Hamtaro? Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! All these fucking apples! I'm like painting them too. Man, this game really loves that object limit though. Oh, we saw. <laughs> I feel like I broke my control stick in my Joy-Con between this game and Mario Odyssey. Uh, why is that? I've definitely had games where that feels like the case, but I don't think Mario Odyssey or this so far has made me feel like that. I'm sure I'll find out as I get further into the game. Oh shit. Clash at Castle DDD. Don't you don't think I don't see you, Red Star. Let's fucking do it. Let me see them titties! Play with others by handing them a Joy-Con. Other players can join in any time by pressing SL and SR. Oh, look at this boy. Whoa, that's a cool electric enemy. I like him. Plungagoo. I mean, I already have a spark boy, so I guess I'll replace them with that. I love him! <laughs> he kinda looks like a Chibi Robo character. Will Mario Odyssey, uh, to do the spin move, I would spin the control stick like a madman. This game, uh, was just, it's entirely pretty much broken, might as well finish it off. Plug is the best enemy in the entire series, he's so pure. Oh shit, listen to this! This is a cool version of King Dedede's theme. I like that that Baird boy is back. I don't know his name, but I know his face. This is cool. I like this music. Yeah, for Mario Odyssey, uh, I just played with Split Joy-Con as they recommended, so I would properly spin the controller. Um, or rather, flip both of the Joy-Con. Um, if you're playing in handheld mode, though, I can see how that would it be very opportune. Bugsy! Oh, he's like very iridescent in this game. Can I befriend Bugsy? Whoa, shit, I can? You can make friends with the bosses? Oh, shit. Oh, no, who am I gonna... I'm sorry. You gotta go, yo-yo boy. What the fuck? You can make friends with the bosses? That's so cool! Game of the year. Game of the year. I'm sorry, is that a baby bottle of milk? I always like how they bring back some old characters and Kirby to the newer games. It's nice to see some new and old, because the old is always updated. Yeah, like a fucking iridescent Bugsy here? I love it. What am I painting now? Waddle Dee. It's so crowded here, I can't tell if there's an enemy here still. Okay, friend ability. Hold up. Well, okay, fridge. Hold up. Get on. Get on! 
Oh! Friend throw. Holy shit! <laughs> well, that's one way to break a block. So if I want to break that block, I should use a friend throw, right? So just hold up, but then that just uses that move. But if I keep holding it up, then it says get on. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Hey, there's the puzzle piece. Oh god. Get on, get on, get on! It's just a single waddle D left. This is gonna be completely overkill, but... Like, no idea you can make friends with the bosses. I'm totally gonna do that more often. I thought you could just, like, destroy or eat them, like, before, but you can make friends with them? I thought it was just, like, the the regular, like, I don't know, quote-unquote minions, I guess? Oh, shit, this looks pretty. Whoa! Look at that! Uh... I don't know, I think I'm... Well, what, what exactly is the point of this? If it's not swapping out with alternate options? I guess if you want to make it harder? That's all I can think of. You could have actually even befriended Wispy Woods. Holy shit, really? Did the tree just, like, hop along with you? I'm gonna see if I can try befriending King Dedede then. But only the titty version. I want that... I want that to be the one that comes with me through the whole game. <laughs> Let me see them titties! Let me see those DDDs, if you will. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can throw a friend heart at this shit. Oof! Are we friends yet? This is also a really good remix of King Dedede's theme. God damn. This stupid little swing he does. Oh god. Oh shit, I need health. I need health. I don't know how to do the kiss. I never played Return to Dreamland. <laughs> he just gives you ex extra health and stuff? Okay. If you want to, like, probably get a trio or an enemy or get rid of friends, I think that's what it's for. The reset platforms are just so you can swap the friends you have if you want to have one of their powers and still have the chance to have them as a friend. Or if you want your power as one of your friends. Okay, I just thought that there was something you could do at any time. Gotcha. <laughs> well, that was Kirby Star Allies. Thanks for- <laughs> Why is it the credits?! What?! <laughs> That's- <laughs> I don't understand! What?! Good job, beat the game.
I assume this is where the lore kicks in, because this isn't your grandpa's Kirby. Onward! Well, okay, what happens now? Like, again, so I already streamed myself playing the demo, but... Ooh. Oh, this is really... Oh, look at that fucking DDD. That's good. <gasps> Dream friend, King DDD! I knew I could befriend him. Sooner or later. Wait, Planet Popstar is just a world? Huh? Chase the dark hearts across the world of miracles. If you friended D King Dedede while he was lying on the floor, you could have gotten him as a friend instead of having to use the palace. Whoa, shit! Whoa! Well, this is cool. Friendly field. My kind of field. Yeah, I didn't know Planet Popstar was the next world. What would the next world be? Where would you go from there? Does the world map just start looking within from now on? And it's just like inside of Kirby's mind? This music is great too! <laughs> nice. Hmm. Let me see if I can perform this. Broom Hatter. Uh. I kind of like Bugsy and Rick and Kind of Koo, so probably plug. Cool. Wait, I'm sorry. Rick and Kind and Koo can breathe fire? Is that what just happened there? Wow, Hamtaro, I never knew you were a dragon. What the hell? He totally can! Did I, like, mix something with him? Or is that just a thing that he naturally has? Rick breathes fire as his neutral? What? Oh, these boys. I don't think I've seen these cannons yet in this game. No, listen guys, just jump over him. Leave him alone. Let him nap. Oh, maybe I should drop for this. Ah! Well, okay, can the broom hatter sweep this away? Okay, cool. That's exactly what they can do. I guess it can also be burnt? Ah! Cool! Yeah, I'm definitely really liking this game so far. Um, I've certainly heard people say it's not as good as Planet Robobot uh, and tri Triple Deluxe, but... I don't know, I think it's pretty great so far. I don't know, maybe I should be saving those um, judgments for when I get further in the game. Uh, or at least when I finish the main story. Um, I hear there's a lot of like meaty post-game to this one. Uh, apparently that's the case with all Kirby's, and I dabble with it somewhat in Triple Deluxe, but with Planet Robobot, uh, I didn't really at all, so I'm interested, I'm interested to see what this game has to offer. Uh, I might actually stream it, uh, if I end up liking this game enough. Wait, so who's- oh, well I guess Bugsy can cut that then, huh? Rick, Kine, and Koo have many different elements and powers to them. It's useful for mixing. Okay, cool. Friend abilities, so I need wind and cut. Can we get a wind and cut? We can! I think. What? <laughs> what? Oh, there's the cut we need. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what? What? Okay, hold on. Let's let's leave and come back to get the snippy boy. Why did the hamster turn into a curling iron? It's an adorable hamster boy. It's a threat, is what it is. Okay, so wind plus cutter, so... Yup! Oh, but I gotta... 
I don't want to say goodbye to... No, not Bugsy. Not Bubsy. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, but I need Broom Hatter and I... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well, get to mixing. Well, okay, okay, so he's he knows what to do, so what do he do? Ah, I see. Me! Uh, it was just for a mini puzzle piece? I don't know if that was worth it to get rid of Bugsy. I liked him. Kirby Star Allies is all about the fun of making friends, but it's also about the heartbreak of saying goodbye to friends. Well, at least you can start solving these puzzles too now. Hey, you wanna take care of this one, buddy? Cool. Okay, I guess if it's something that comes into play a lot for like the rest of the level, then I guess it's okay, but... I liked Bugsy! I didn't want to get rid of him! <laughs> All these friends are just too good. See, if this game likes pushing the object limit so much, they what they really should have done is set the friend limit to, d to Dunbar's number. Since you've gotten attached to artists, try holding down and B. Yeah, I tried that earlier. I like I like this boy. Wait, did Metanite just press the button? Dream Palace is open. Thanks, Metanite. There wasn't anything else to the left, right? That was all it was. Okay. I meant down then up B. It's like the only other thing it can do. Down then up B. Down then up B. Whoa! Whoa! D Whoa! Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so, um... I asked this before, but I don't think anybody answered this. Uh, yeah, I already saw this in the demo, this is neat. Um, I asked this earlier, but uh, if I want to like learn the movesets for these different power-ups, is there any way in-game that I can like learn this? Like, is there like a list anywhere? I love this fucking wheel. Pause? Well, I can't seem to do that on the loading screen. Yeah, okay, let me take a look at this. Yeah, I was looking- Oh, there's different- Ah! Ah! Wait, front- Front circle? Oh, it's just telling me these controls. So, I guess I'll wait until I get out of this? Yeah, I vaguely remember it being on the pause menu from, like, Nightmare and Dreamland of all games, <laughs> despite playing Triple Deluxe and Final Robobot and plenty of other Kirby games, but... Holy shit, they're unstoppable. Oh, we just knocked the whole goal down here. Yeah, okay, let's let's pause real quick. So... Yeah, okay, Artist 1, Artist 2. Okay, so... Brush Slash, Brush Splat... Brush Slash and Brush Splash. I thought I was just like mispronouncing that, but that's just a bit of a tongue twister. Okay, and then Painter. Down, up, and then B. Okay, that's the thing you just told me about. Press B after Sculpture for Creative Destruction, and then press and hold Y for Paintbrush. Let's try that. Whoa, shit! Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Why didn't you warn me? Also, each boss has extra stuff you can read about, too, if you want, if you pause at a boss fight. Rip Artist. It goes by what power you got. Oh, that just kicks in on its own if I wait too long. Oh, look at that! I 
love the fucking hamster dance. And by this, I do not mean the fucking. Y'all remember that meme? We get in the fucking early 2000s up in here. Pretty much any time a main boss gets a new health bar, it'll have a neat splash text. Interesting. I like that we're kind of just hanging around on a warp star, that's good. Yeah, let's check out the Dream Palace again. Right, so these are like one-time uses per world, right? I kind of like my current team, so I think I'll save this for later on. Reef Resort. Ooh. Ooh. Aw, oh, that fucking low pass filter. Man, these horns, though. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. This is nice. You can reuse them after you beat a level. Okay, gotcha. What the fuck was... Why did he just turn into a big hamster boulder? Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Yeah, I guess I'm Fire Kirby now. It's not the same. Oh, apparently I needed fire. Oh no, I needed that fucking- Okay, you're back. Uh, I guess they get rid of Broom Hatter. Waddle Dee's a good boy. Well, okay, so... The Chumbrella. I see. No, 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 no. You stay put, and then... Okay. Interesting. I mean, I know you were like an artist and all, but artist isn't that good. I think you'll find out very quickly, as I continue to stream more things, is that I don't go by what's, like, technically the best. I just go with what's cutest. Actually, if you've ever played me in Smash, you'll know that that's already the case, hence why I main Corrin. <laughs> Artist is fun, but I feel it's kind of limited. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure if I start, like, exploring the movesets more, then I'll find something else that I like. But Artist was cute. He looks like, uh, what's her name from Kirby64? Sleep is cutest? That's true, but I don't think I'm prepared for that big of a sacrifice. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is like moving, I see. Guys, this game is so nice. I'm so glad that I'm finally getting around to playing it. Oh! The hamster is a fish now. I see. Oof! Also, you know, you could write a CPU to control them. How do I do that? Artist is a cool ability because I think it's the first time an ability has had a moveset and also had a one-time use. There's nothing else like that? You're saying that the favorite that I picked is the only one that has an accidental self-destruct option. Great. My favorite. This is a nice fucking beach level. I like this. Like, really look at the detailing on, like, the... I don't know what you would call it, the ground beneath the grass. Like, you can see, like, you know, seashells and, like, 
all sorts of different like patterns and details and like tropical flowers. Good fucking vibes. Oh, I see. So what I mean, would I need to make two Waddle friends then? Uh. Oh wait, let's cancel. Let's cancel. What if I had the umbrella? Oh, but now who's gonna set off the fire? Shit. Wait, what's going on here now? Oh, water, water cutter. Uh oh. Well, but wait, no, but, but. Oh wait, but okay. So the hamster has fire. Oh, I can walk with this. Okay. Wait. Wait. Shit. Okay. Wait. No. No. This is doable. This is doable. Okay. Nobody move. <laughs> Gee, it sure was a good thing my hamster could breathe fire. To control them, you have to hold down and jump on top of them. Can I control hamster? Hold down and jump. Hold down and jump. Hold. Oh! <gasps> Oh, these, are, these other guys are kind of getting in the way of this, but okay. Extra stage. Cool. Oh no, get back on. That's so good. <laughs> if you pause, you can read about him while you're on him. Rick and Kinda Cool. Three pals from Kirby's Dream Land 2 join the fray. They formed a dream team trio so they can help each other out. Rick rules the land, Kine swims the seas, Koo soars through the skies, animal friends forever. Fire Rick, <laughs> Stone Rick, Parasol Koo, Flutter Cutter Koo, Fish Flop, Ice Kind Kind Freeze, Protective Big Stomp. Interest oh, and it tells you what you can mix it with too. Oh, cool. Yeah, apparently I just gotta start pausing more often, because there's some fucking deep, interesting flavor text there. Hey, so, re remember, uh, what was it called? It was the Claymation one on Wii U. Canvas? Rainbow Curse. Um, there was, like, flavor text about all the enemies. They were, like, Smash Bros. style trophies that you could get. And it, there was, like, flavor text of all the enemies on my Vincible right now. Hold on. Go fucking nuts, Kirby! Why do they say he's feeding it to them? It's kissing! Oh, the fucking low pass filter on the invincibility thing. <gasps> Chef Kawasaki! <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I throw a heart at the hat? Yes! <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I found a superior thing to the hamster. Oh my god, I love him! <laughs> uh, the developers have even said they're kissing because it was cute. Agreed, it's cute! Is that like a localization thing, or does the Japanese version of this game say that it's kissing as well? Oh, well, he's cooked all my friends. <gasps> oh no! Okay, they come back out. <laughs> I thought they just turned them into food. Oh, I didn't even notice that that was there, thank you! Wait, so what's that little meter on Chef Kawasaki? Even kissing is better than mouth feeding. I think they say it straight up in the Japanese version. Oh, nice! Yeah, let's see Chef Kawasaki's dance. That is so fucking valid. I love him! Wasn't his voice in right back at you like, HELLO KIRBY! I remember it just being like, really like, UGH! And like, crackly and shit. There's no way I could, you know, match that majesty. 
Was it a hello voice? It might have been that combined with a hello voice, combined with voice cracking. The Inside Islands. Trapped in an island with Josh Hutcherson? Could it be? Well, okay. So, oh, this is the extra thing I unlocked? Okay. Chef Kawasaki actually has a unique moveset compared to Cook Kirby, which is kind of interesting, too. That's how long until he can use his cooking pot again. Okay, gotcha. Oh, I know this one. This is a good song. It's no butter building, but okay. Hey! Yeah, I gotta get rid of this umbrella stat. I don't like this. Let's get the spider. Oh, god. Oh, god. Okay, what can this do? What can this do? What predator is more impressive? None shall escape such a hunter. You can spin threads with skill to execute the friend bands, which will get your friends up high. Ready, set, jump. String shot. Network. Skyward web. Interesting. Okay. Cool. A little more member. Cool. It's a stone! Oh, what is this? A friend bounce. That's good. Wait, so how are they able to jump through the spikes? Do the friend bounce just make them immune to that? What is what is pulling this like, achieve? Oof! Fuck, guys. I'm sorry about that. Uh, anyways, oof. Man, I don't think I talked about like home problems, you know, as a general topic in this stream. But you know, depression talk. That's for another stream. Maybe for Mario Kart. Anyways, I'm sorry guys, I'm really sorry about the delay, I'm really sorry about having to go BRB on that. Um, yeesh. Anyways, back to Kirby. <laughs> oh, I lost my spider? I guess that makes sense. Three spiders! Man, I have no clue how I'm gonna handle that in the VOD. I'm gonna have to fucking edit shit, and I don't know what to cut and what to leave. That's gonna be a whole thing. Oof. Kirby is happy. Be happy. It's fine, just enjoy some Kirby. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, this is nice. This is a good song. I'm sorry, Max, it's not a song! Oh, right, I gotta use the friend jump. Uh, I think you can just cut that out, because it's not like much happened. Yeah, okay. Well, I can just, like, kick these guys around? Huh. Do I want any of these boys? It's hard to tell what's mandatory and what's not. You no, know, I- of all the things I wanted to leave alone, I wanted to let that boy nap. But this is what you brutes have done. So is there like a funky Kirby that could surf on the water? Whoa shit, what? That's not much of a threat, I can just squirt these boys. Oh I see, we're locked in here. It's like a gauntlet. Oh jeez. Okay, I take it back, this is becoming a bit okay! Slow down boys. 
Okay, there we go. Oh, but look at all the stars! I want to get those too. You and your friends are just a gang beating up innocent people for star money. Not even for that. They're just doing it for the thrill of violence. Sorry if I'm being kind of quiet now, it's just, uh, again, I'm trying not to get too sad in fucking happy baby Kirby game, but like, it's not even something that I don't, that I don't mind talking about, um, I, I think I, the way I phrase that, I just said that I do mind talking about it, but I don't mind talking about it, um, it's just that like, I don't know, I think the last time I did go into very much- Whoa, what is this? That's a nice illustration. The last time I did go into very much detail about that- Oh, shit! No, but doesn't that- isn't that, isn't that like a screen wipe? Okay, good. Um, the last time I really went into detail about, uh, that topic, and I'm trying to be as verbally vague as I can because I don't know if she's listening to me or not right now. Um, the last time I did was when, like, the, no, when I was home alone. During, like, a Splatoon 2 stream, I think? Uh, I was just, like, going into detail about, like, the whole moving plan and, uh, that was a whole thing. Um, I wish I could update you guys on it more often because I feel like the stream's a really good way to do that, but... Oh shit, I can get... Oh my god! I gotta choose between ass and shiny boy. What's going on now? Is now the best time, Chef Kawasaki? I don't know. That's how it is when this bitch on Earth. Holy shit! Whoa! My god! Yeah, no chili. He's back! Nice! Oh shit! Teensy bit more. Did Chef Kawasaki give me a kiss? Good for him. Mr. Frosty's the only one you can't friend. He just turns into the cute snowman. Yeah, like... I was wondering where that came from. Oh, that's a solid first place. I love these fucking dances. I love it. I've already got 36 lives? Hot oh, damn. <gasps> Look at that! Oh, I love it! <laughs> the first rival. That's so good. You finished your first celebration picture. See all pictures in the picture gallery. This little puzzle piece picture feature is like, it's tickling all the right places. Because I got very into the, the Street Pass 3DS thing, and this is literally just that. Echo's Edge. That sounds serious. Use round trip doors all you want. You can enter these doors as many times as you like. Take a look inside. Ooh. Oh, I like the colors here. Ooh. Probably drop spider. Oh, can I like spit them at this though? This music is nice. I think those pictures are them bringing back old artists to do to do a new piece to represent that game. Like the Dreamlight One pictures based a lot on the promo art. Yeah, I was kind of noticing that. That's really cool. Whoa! Are we fucking Celeste now? Listen, I just finished getting frustrated over a 2D platformer with lots of wind sections. I can't be doing this. Ah, I see. This music is really nice, wow!
Yeah, I'm kind of just like pleasantly listening to this. This is so nice. This is good fucking music. Oh, there's a switch above me. I see what I gotta do. Ooh. Oh, I must have to come at it from the other side. Yeah, okay, gotcha. What? Oh, I see, it's going around for another lap. Okay, now it's getting rid of those. Yeah, okay, I was wondering. This is a really nice track. I always like when they do con music. Yeah, this is excellent. And I feel like this is also kind of like one of the few instances where the mininess doesn't really bother me. Like, it's handled well. Whoa, what was that? I think this is something I need to befriend. Oh god, you. Yeah, I know all about this power-up. When Kirby screams with this power-up, it better make the HD rumble fucking explode. I wanna find a good place to use it. Oh, like here. Like here. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Curry music can either pump me up or calm me down. Yeah, there's no in between. Oh, I need fire to melt this, and then I gotta slap it. Can anybody use fire? But this is a water hammer. I don't. But I don't want a water hammer. Oh, there's a fire boy right here. What am I saying? Man, Parasol Water with these been with us for a while. We can swap them. Fire me up! Wind not? I feel like there's more this way though. I'm sure one of the switches is eventually gonna lead back to that. Oh, perhaps sooner than we thought. Ah, okay, I get the idea. Okay, that's cute. Whoa! No! Look at these boys fucking go, they're so speedy. You better give me those fucking stars! <gasps> nice. How does one singe snow? too. Like these enemies, you can kind of see them. That's cool. Oh, we fucking Donkey Kong Country now? Well, if I shoot into this, does it hurt me or hurt it? No, we're good, we're good.
40 lives. Yeesh. What's the limit on that? Does it max out at 99 or...? This game is super visually impressive. Yeah, people got like really mad when it turned out that this game was 30 FPS, and they're like, why? It doesn't even look good, and like, do you have fucking eyes? Look at all this shit. Ooh, another friend circle? find that out. What is this? This isn't a friend circle? What's going on here? A friend bridge? Ah, I see. <laughs> That's good. and this other dude, like, aren't even holding on to each other. They're just kind of reaching out towards their limbs. Okay, I see. Wait, but... But where now? Oh, I gotta help him up. Oops. <laughs> I wish it ran at 60 FPS because they actually kind of notice it in Kirby games because of the moves, but it's not a huge deal or anything. Lighting is way too good to pass up, but even if it means 30. Um, the lighting's definitely super good, but I feel like what more so resulted in them deciding on 30 is probably, like, the the object limit. Because, like, look at this! They do this shit for no good reason! They put, like, a million items on screen at once, and I'd imagine that that's harder to do their fucking look how many stars we can put on screen at once dick measuring contest if it's at 60 FPS. We can only put 300 stars on screen instead of 600? This can't stand. Cut the frame rate. I have to stream at 30 FPS anyways, because I don't think I can handle like a smooth 60 with my capture card. Um, or rather with, with my Mac, because it's like an external one, but it uses the computer's power to uh, do the thingy, or whatever. Um, so even if I'm playing a 60 FPS game, it shows up as 30 for me, um, but I think this looks great. I don't mind it either, but I did not notice one big dip in the level in the game. Oh, I did notice one. I think I know which one you mean, there was exactly one time. Uh, are you talking on stream, or just like, there is a point in the game in which the frame rate drops? That I haven't seen yet. I love his fucking high noises. Nature's navel? Yeah. This alliteration has gone too far. There's exactly one time. There's exactly one time in the game you haven't seen yet. It's not super bad, just noticeable. Okay. Oh shit, look at this. Bones. Ooh! Listen to this! Ooh! This is a cool track. Whoa, shit. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> fucking mood. Nature's navel theme is lit. Man, agreed. Goddamn. Is there stuff up here? Looks like there might be. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm fucking slicing up my friends here. Oh, and it was off and nothing. Oh, we got fucking strings up in here? Oh, shit! Can I kiss Chef Kawasaki? Ooh. See, I like this guitar, because this, like, fucking really embraces the MIDI. I like that. Yeah, can Chef Kawasaki, like, cook or something? 
Oh, well that's not quite what I wanted him to do. Yeah, he's not doing too hot. I mean, it is a fire level, but okay. Oh, now he's cooking. Okay, never mind. Oh god damn it, it's I didn't even notice your pun. Thanks, Circular Square, for calling him out. <laughs> okay. At least they're all spawning here, so I can kind of just do a jump thing. Oh, I see. If you don't have ice, you have to actually work to break their shields, and then they're vulnerable. Interesting. I wish they made that clear when you first encountered them, rather than just giving you a one-hit kill for these guys immediately. Oh, I gave Chef Kawasaki a little smooch. Fire puns are too easy. Ban them now while you still can. I'm sure with the way I have the Automon set up, it'll happen sooner or later. I guess I need this guy, huh? Yeah, let's replace Burning Leo. I'm already a fire boy. So what does this guy do? Friend ability, Wind plus Ninja. Do we got that? Oh, I, I understand. Whoa! No, 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 no! I needed him! I didn't ask for that! God damn it! Well, I, hold on, I don't think I need to reload the room. I think I can just go back down. Okay. Goodness. Mm, let's see. Uh, who do I want to replace? Maybe I'll just drop this hammer and then become... Can nobody mix with me? Really? Fellas. Put your hands up. Hold, no, hold on, no. There we go. Bluster Ninja. Bluster Kong? Yeah, so when's Bluster Mode coming to Tropical Freeze? Where's the real hero we need? Guys, wrong way. Come on. You guys are gonna... I guess I have what I need right now. Thank you. I keep thinking that these little side areas are like... Because Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot have trained me like that these rooms are necessary for the three main collectibles. But these puzzle pieces are like totally optional. You can get a little or you can get a lot, it doesn't matter. And I make such a big deal out of it, <laughs> but it's like totally useless every single time. Ooh. Is there anything over this way, maybe? Oh, look how fast I go with these flaps! I actually kind of like Wing Kirby. Oh, and that puts out the fire too, so that's actually pretty handy. Nice. Uh, okay, is there anything? Well, I guess if this is a red door, then that's just later on. Okay. It is kind of weird. I think it's mostly that you have to find so many puzzle pieces. Yeah, fair enough. But that's like different because what I'm getting at is like in Planet Robobot and Trouble Deluxe, I feel like these rooms were like necessary in every single level, but with this you can kind of just um, unless those puzzle pieces don't come back if you replay levels, but you could ideally just like do the ones you want to do and skip the ones you don't want to do. And still uh, fill in all the puzzles if you'd like. This music is so fucking good. This flapping is coming in really handy, though. I'm keeping this. The problem is you don't know which are 100% necessary. I don't think they really hide the big puzzle piece in those rooms, though. They kind of just plop it at the end of the level and make it a freebie most of the time. 
I don't know if that changes later though. Maybe they do start making those harder to collect. This is still only world two. Guys, can you not jump directly into the big knives? Knives? Nobody's asking you to, dude. Ooh, look at how the lighting is reflecting on this. That's cool. That's a good fucking gold rendering. <gasps> also, I just realized what we're landing on down there. It's like, I thought it was just, just like some sort of trampoline or a spring or something like that, but it's like a, like a caterpillar with a plate on its head. It has like eyes. Missed it. I was wondering if you would. Oh shit, did I miss a big puzzle piece? I think that was the first one I missed. Whoa. Uh I don't know, I've kind of been on the right track so far. I was... It's, could you warn me next time? <laughs> Sacred Square. Oh, is that already the boss battle? Okay. Duplex Dream. Oh, so there's multiple bonus levels in each world? Interesting. Yeah, look at that, I didn't get it. And it was towards the end of the level too, huh? I think that thing is a reference to the Kirby anime. I want you to be an organic gamer experience. Huh. I guess I'll go back for it off stream, I don't know. For something that simple, I don't think I'll replay the whole level on stream. Because these levels are like long too. Flap, boys, flap! There was a ladder to the left. Gotcha. Well, I don't know. If there's something that's, like, at least on screen that I'm missing, or something important... Like, you know, you guys telling me, for example, about, like, the, um, pausing during boss battles? Like, yeah, sure, tell me about shit like that. You know? Like, or just, like, cool things that I didn't know you could do, like the like this shit. No, oh, I haven't actually tried getting a piggyback on Chef Kawasaki. This is good. Oh, but how do I get in there? Did I lose the chance? Did this wall... Is this wall new? Let's go another lap, just in case. Yeah, I think I just had to be speedier. Oh no, it's down here, I need fire. Do we have fire? I don't think we do. I don't think we have anything. Wait, is there a fire boy down here, though? Ah, I see. Oof! There we go. That'll do the trick. Cloudy Park, best theme in the series. For things you missed, there was also a secret hole that works as an unmarked door on top of one of the knife things that you walked right by. Interesting. Maybe I will re go back and replay that one level. Uh, maybe not this stream, but like... Maybe after I beat the game I'll go back and start doing things I missed. Because apparently I have no fucking idea what I'm doing here. I think it just has some normal puzzle pieces though. Gotcha. This is SNES now, right? How recent do these classic themes go? No, you're doing good, it was just that one level you tanked. Well, I wouldn't- I mean, I still beat it, I wouldn't necessarily call it tanked, but okay. What do we gotta do here? There's a key? Oh, I see, I need- Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha, yeah. Mm, so I'll become the cowboy, but I wanna use the wind. Ah, uh, okay. So be it. It goes all the way up to Robobot. Really? Okay, cool. Well, hold on. Do we wanna... Which one do we wanna melt here? Because how do we access that either way? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So I wanna melt this one. 
Oh no, I just grab it. I thought I had to like make it drop onto something. Okay, cool. So they do hide these puzzle pieces in the red doors then. Never mind me. They kind of just pick themes across the entire series for the bonus levels. It's neat. Is it kind of like linear? Like as I go through more of the levels and get further into the game, does it go like further into the Kirby series or is it just like random? We start getting some fucking Kirby 64 tracks up in here eventually. That's some good shit. Look how fucking fast this cowboy's going. Whoa, slow down, partner. It generally does that, but some later ones have old school themes. They better have butter building. Excuse me? Oh, I know what you're all about. Yeah, and then I'll make the fire cowboy into a friend and then make this myself. Nice. Feels like there's gonna be a good opportunity to use this screen light. Yep! Good thing I saved it. Chef Kawasaki and Vividria. Yo, it's fucking lit! Hmm. I'm his apprentice now. Artist, artist, artist! I can't resist. Great Garden is better than Butter Building. Fight me. Kid. Like, look at the thing that I land on here. It's like a green thing with eyes. The fuck is that? What's up with that? When you get to the world map, try reading the first letter of each level in order. Huh. Makes no sense and I love it. It's just a random caterpillar? Okay. Yeah, once I finish this world, I'll check out world 1 and 2. This seems like the final stage anyway, so... Sacred Square. Just a springy boy? That's good. Ooh. Ooh! Great Kirby music. I'm really glad that I didn't like spoil myself on the soundtrack. Because I'm like really pleasantly surprised by every single level's music. It's only in this world that you have to read it in order. Oh, okay. I thought it was like one of the because I know that there's like some shit where like if you read some in previous Kirby games, there's like some shit levels that you read the first letter of in order and it spells out something. Yeah, I can do that with this world then. What's this power up? Friend star? Excuse me? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, it's like a... <laughs> it's like a Galaga. Kind of. I don't think... Galaga lets you stop moving. This is cool though. Whoa! Oh, I like this. Why have they never done this with warp stars before? Just let you like ride around on them. 
and like actually steer them. This is cool. Oh, I love it. Please let me keep this through this door. Oh, I totally can. <laughs> this is where the game gets really good. I already thought it was pretty decent. I'm really excited if the game keeps throwing more shit at me like this. Wait, hold on. X to... Oh, but I didn't want to do that. Oh, I see, though. So you can swap and use all the different powers. Is Chef Kawasaki powerful enough? No. Do I have to? Oh, I probably have to use like a big old. Oh, no, I just have to. Yep. This is so fucking cool. I'm just going backwards now. Oh, we all have like a shared health bar too. Is there anything up with these guys now? I think they just want to land on me. Oof! And land on me they have. Uh, oh, I gotta find someone with the power. Is that an ice thing? A water thing. Gotcha. Yeah, I like that it's like requiring you to swap the, the power-ups a lot. It's like an advanced version of how Robobot did the powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. See, this is where the... You know, I, I, I mentioned, you know, kind of flexing the object limit. I, I described that as like dick swinging earlier, but oh, I, that's something I can help. Um, but when it comes to, like, pushing how many enemies they can draw at a time, I actually think that's, like, that can lead to some interesting shit. Because I don't think... Well, I mean, they could probably do that many enemies at 60 FPS, but I, I'm really interested to see how far they, they can push it. No, I need that! I need that! I need that! Well, I've probably gone way far enough to get that back. How do we... Why do I forget how to take this power? Oh, there we go. Pat. I like that one's shaped like a fish. Yeah, let's see what's up with this. Oh, thanks, I could use some syrup. And a puzzle piece. Yeah, I'm not tanking this one, it's. God, this music is great too. Although there is an ominous silence now, and that can only mean one thing. Well, the friend star is kinda like a tank. Uh... I do like me some plug. We can soften up with burning wheel. Cool. Grab it. <gasps> oh, I know exactly what this is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, bye all my friends. This has to be a one-on-one -on -one thing. Fucking bring it. Oof! Oh shit, there's music too? Whoa, shit! I, th I remember that. That's cool. Ooh! Okay, okay, we're moving on to another phase thing, right? Oh, he's purple now. Oh, hold on. 
If you fly up to him, instead of grabbing, he gets mad at you and kicks the sword off the stage as it cuts to his splash screen. That's good. Let's me. Oh yeah. Corrupted by the power of a dark heart, Meta Knight's dedication to the purity of combat has been eclipsed by a secret wild streak that has always lurked within him. This once hidden fury is now unleashed with every stab and thrust of his sword. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, what's he doing now? What's this? Two Chewbacca's! Oh god, I can't survive this. This is gonna take another try, this is tough. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Worth it. Yeah, I, I want to do this with just a sword, though. Like, maybe... I'm thinking maybe I can, like, have, like, a fire sword or something. You know? Like, have something to mix with the sword. Maybe a zap sword. Well, no, I think I have to make this a into a friend first. So if I hit it, if I hit it, then it like... Oh, oh well, never mind. I guess it's just a sword sword. Oof! Oh shit, I love that effect. Fuck, that's so good! Nice, nice. Oh, hold on. The bosses change their strategy slightly depending on how many friends you have. Like, Meta Knight will spawn for him if you have all your friends. Okay, cool. Interesting. Yeah, I was hoping that I wasn't, like, jinxing myself by scrapping all my friends, but, you know, it's gotta be just Kirby versus Meta Knight. It's gotta be a one-on-one -on -one thing. attack them while they're doing this. Oops. Oh god, what now? Ah! Huh? Did, I'm sorry, did touching the rock hurt me? What now? What now? I can't handle this. I can't deal with this. So what I'm going to do this time is not touch these switches and just fly up, so that way I can still come back to that little front switcher. Although I guess I can just throw a heart at this guy and then I don't have to do that at all. Can you? Yeah, thanks. Can we modify this arc perhaps? Cool. I'm sorry, did Automon get mad at you for saying the word kill? Okay then. I've actually never seen Meta Knight do that. Really? He's just fucking got it out for me. Okay, let's mix these, let's mix. Nice, let's fucking zap it up. 
I kind of wish the bosses had more health. Well, I seem to be struggling enough as it is, I don't know. That was cool. I love when games do shit like that. Um, Star Fox Zero has a similar thing where, uh, if you're flying towards another pilot, and you guys are, like, flying in opposite directions, like, like directly at each other, and you kind of just barely go, like, past each other, then, like, the whole game slows down and it does this cool, like, slow-mo effect. Yeah, I seem to be doing much better this time, but I think that's entirely because of Plug, who has, by the way, sacrificed himself just for me. I gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I can break these too. Oh, and then, and then they get stuck! No, he he had an icon above his head. What did that mean? Oh no! I totally could have befriended him, couldn't I? The electric sword kind of looks like a lemon sword from Fire Emblem. I never noticed that. Does it? It's like behind him right now. So, okay, are we gonna get the credits this time? I really don't know where this game is going. You could have befriended him. Oh, shit. Whoa, fuck, what? Oh, well, this is the thing from the opening cinematic, right? Oh, no! It's destroying all the cheese! Is this really the final thing? I really have no idea how this is structured. Onward! Looks pretty final, huh? It's what the fuck are you getting at? Don't you fucking tease me like this! <laughs> oh, new puzzles too. <laughs> I love that DDD face! I need Max in here stat to give an opinion on that. Yeah, I'm going to the Dream Palace instantly. I want Meta Knight now. The Fortress of Shadows, Jambashton. Even the stoic Meta Knight has fallen prey to the enemy's evil influence, and now their for foreboding fortress has suddenly appeared. Why have they come to this land? Why? Undeterred, Kirby and his friends charge forward with Gusto. Cool. Okay, well, let's take a look at the stages in Planet Popstar, though. I will say that this game has a very quote-unquote strange world structure. Interesting. Okay, so... F? Uh, I guess I can get Meta Knight before spelling that out. Give me your fucking Meta! This is it, Kirby! Oh no. Why Yeah, check out Kirby's sword. Oh, I totally see what you mean. Thanks, I hate it. Robin is evil. Okay. F. Do the extra levels in the Dream Palaces count? F. I'll skip them this time. F. R. E. N. D. Fr friends? Oh, well, that's the I. Okay, friends. Friends. Okay. <laughs> I like it that it's just spelled friends with fucking no I. Let's do one level from this, and then I'll switch games. Guys, I'm telling you, the UI from this looks so good. Whoa, shit. Gatehouse Road. Wow, 
I can block? What's this? What do you see, Kirby? Oh shit, this music! This is good! Oh shit, PSI Kirby? I love PSI Kirby! Oh, I was gonna make a friend with the spider, but okay. This is fucking cool! Whoa, cool! single spike is like destroying this entire team. PSI Kirby, keeping your tires inflated since 2016. It's... please? I know you're technically not in violation of my stream rules now, but you're about to be. By the time the stream is over and I go back to, to give those rules another pass, whatever you're doing, it's got to be illegal somehow. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. Is Plug still with me? Oh, he is. Cool. So do I have to get this end, or...? Oh, okay, well, it's just open now. Any exclamation marks, buddy? Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Okay, so then that activates this. Cool. Automod already hates me. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> Well, hey, it's a good thing I decided to take Plug with me of all, uh, characters during that Meta Knight battle, huh? ESP is electric, too, for future reference. I thought so, but I wasn't sure. Aw, oh, man, do I... There's a way to, like, befriend dropped powers, right? I'm sorry? What? Geo... What? Geokinesis and Zap Yo Yo. What the fuck? Oh! I thought he fucking died. I guess you could say he really dropped like a stone, huh? Throw the heart at the ability star? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm pretty sure I've done that before. Oh, thanks for finding the puzzle piece, not me. Oh yeah, some things there's powers that have the same effect, like water and artist. Okay. Oh god, oh god, get out of there! Oh, I see you. Sneaky little fucking... No fooling me! Except that one time I was very fooled in that lava level. Oh, we're getting closer. Listen to this fucking bass slap! God damn! This seems different. Oh shit. Oh, it's another one of these, okay. But there's... Do we fight the heart itself? Oh shit! Who are these boys? Pawn and Con? Have these guys been in previous Kirby games before, or is this a very obvious Tom Nook and Red reference? I love them, though. <laughs> They're cute. That's how you do that. I was wondering how to do that. Move. I like the the the, the, the Tanuki is hanging up in the background there. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, well this is kind of what I was talking about earlier with starting to push the enemy limit more. Oh 
Holy shit. <laughs> This is a cool boss battle. Can I befriend them? <laughs> That's cute. <gasps> Wait, no. Oh, maybe I was supposed to befriend them so that they would open the door for me. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Can we not right now, fucking gerbil? You actually have to friend them, it won't let you pass if you don't. Okay, gotcha. That's good though. <gasps> They're so cute! I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. It's the game's way of teaching you you can friend bosses sometimes. Gotcha. Oh, that went much further along than I thought it would. Well, okay, so... Oh, I see. What, I thought this was like the next level, but it just takes you over here. Gotcha. Um... Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, I've been, I've been going for two hours. Um... This has been incredible so far. I'm really excited to play more of this. Um... But for now, uh, that was Kirby Star Allies, and in the meantime, uh, I will be switching to Mario Kart, and you guys can feel free to join in if you'd like. <laughs>